Hey, what's going on guys? Sergio here with Wasso HVAC. So, what I wanted to talk about today was um, tool bags. So, I know it's like one of the hardest things for an apprentice to pick is what tool bag to use because I know I had that issue. So, I wanted to go through a few ones I've used, ones I would like to use, and styles that I've used. So, uh, if we start first, this is, was like my very first tool bag that I ever bought. Um, that's weird. Um, this Klein Tools. You can see it's, uh, don't worry about this. <laughs> um, you know, it's a good size. It's actually, I like this one because it's actually kind of thin, unlike some other bags. And it can actually hold quite a lot. I used one of these, I don't know, I want to say for four, eh, maybe like two, three years. The reason I stopped using it is because the, um, let's see, the zipper, go away, uh, zipper kind of broke right here, and, you know, it, it's going to happen, right? But, um, and I think I paid for 100 bucks back in 2017, actually it was a little less because I had like a, a Home Depot dude's card, and also you can get these at Home Depot, I think Home Depot sells these for 120 now, but um, they're, they're solid bags, I mean, can't go wrong with Klein. The next bag I want to talk about is uh, Vito, which are a lot more pricey, especially if you're an apprentice starting off. These can be very expensive, but they are uh, qual. I've been using specifically this one for a while. Um, I really like it because it opens up. It'll stand up on its own as long as you don't have it like oddly balanced. But um, they're great bags, and this will hold. I mean, even as a journeyman now, this will hold most everything you need, especially as an apprentice. I can stick my little M12 um, battery, or I'm sorry, uh, drill in here. Uh, so they're they're great. Another one, it, it's kind of the next size up. You don't really, I wouldn't really go for this because you're not, probably not going to use this as an apprentice, especially in commercial. Um, but if you want to get it, it's not a bad investment. You know to buy it when you have if you have the money I mean you can hold a lot more it's got these nice meter pouches on the side and you know it's just it I, if I remember right it's a little bit taller than the TPXL I've seen it in person a couple guys have it and it's a little bit wider but it's rough it's just the biggest thing is it has these uh, meter pouches on the side so these are options uh, the next one if if you're on a bit of a budget, no, click the wrong thing. Is uh, this uh, Bauer from Har Harbor Freight? I've heard decent things about these. Um, I've seen them in person. They're a little bit wider, I would say, than the Klein, but it's got. I believe it's two pockets. Let's see. Let's look at the pictures. So yeah, it's got this main front pocket right here where you can kind of put some stuff, and it's got uh, pouches up here. And then it's got a rear pocket there you can put like your iPad. Yeah, got an iPad right here. So, um, or a laptop if you're a controls guy. But other than that, I mean, you're probably getting about the same amount of storage space as the Klein, but it's a little bit cheaper. And it looks, oh, see, that's the other, this is a cool thing. You can put a little, it has got a water bottle holder. I mean, obviously you can put whatever you want in there, but that's nice when you're on the roof. So, uh, those are what four my four recommendations for bags especially starting off in an apprentice don't really need much more than that shit as a journeyman I don't really use much more than I mean like I said I use a TPXL actually I'm at a using a Vito Tech MC right now because I just decided to change it up because I had used that one in the past um, I'm also of the philosophy that I like kind of like a general purpose bag. I know some guys like, oh, they have mags just for maintenance. They have bags just for um, repairs or installs. Like, I just have one bag. I work out of that bag 90% of the times. It's got basically most everything I need. You know, the only thing I don't carry in there is a pipe wrench, which is probably, or sockets. I don't really carry sockets. 
I might have a 916 or half inch in there every once in a while, but if I need those, I just grab them out of the truck. So it's not too big of a deal, but you know. So, like I said, those are my recommendations. If you got any questions, let me know down below. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, I'm going to start posting videos like this. I know background's kind of a mess, but uh, work with what I got. Um, trying to make this a little easier on me. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this view and you maybe learned something. If you got any questions, let me know. Uh, Sergio. Peace out.